Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, I did a colour palette challenge last year and this one really received a lot of comments. This was the first part in that challenge and it literally just used two colours. Well, two colours plus the base colour. I used a Prussian blue and a titanium white and this is a buff titanium base. So I've been asked to create a piece with just using the white titanium and the Prussian blue. But this time I'm not going to use a different colour base. I'm just going to use two colours. I'm going to mix those two colours together. So I'm mixing the white and the Prussian blue together for a base colour. And then I'm going to use the titanium white and the Prussian blue to do a chaotic Dutch pour. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I'm going to take you in now just so you can see the colours. Let's see what we can create. OK, so here are the colours. They're the two basic colours. So we've got a titanium white and a Prussian blue. You can see I've already painted the sides of my base. Half of that side just there. All the way round to that half just there. At the top here, where you see no kind of side painted, that's all going to be the chaotic part. So that's where I'm going to be blowing out the paint. But what I've done is I've mixed these two colours to make this colour. So this is just Prussian blue and titanium white mixed together. It's lighter in colour. And because the white is opaque, that's going to make the Prussian blue more opaque. So we've got our colours ready. Let's paint. So I'm focusing on this section first, using the colour that we've made. We've made that, remember, by using the Prussian blue and the white titanium. And I'm just going to blow this colour out to cover this half of the canvas. I can already tell that it's a bit thicker than I'd really like it to be. I did need it to be a little bit more fluid, but you know, that's okay. I can still work with the paint that I've got. But just remember, you can always do a drip test before you start out with a creation. I'm just going to touch up my sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the section where we do the chaotic part of the Dutch pour. I have noticed that there are a couple of spots on this canvas where the paint hasn't naturally kind of dissolved and mixed in. And you know what? I'm just going to go with it. Sometimes, of course, I want a very smooth finish and a smooth creation. But if there's some texture in there, I really don't mind. Just kind of enjoy what you're creating. So I'm going to place the white down first, place the blue on top, and then blow this creation out. I'm really excited to see the different tones this is going to create. All those different blue tones that's going to mix with the Prussian blue and the white as I blow this creation out using my hairdryer. So I'm going to just blow in one direction first. So I'm blowing the base coat over the other colours first. And then I will look at my composition and blow the other colours on top of the base coat.
One thing that I would say is by having a thicker consistency of paint, you minimise the cell reaction. So if you're looking not to have cells, then go for a thicker consistency because that will really reduce that, that cell formation within your paints. So as I blow out the rest of this paint, I'm just looking at the composition. I'm looking at the movement. I wanted obviously one side to be very chaotic. That's where all the blues and the white have been mixed together against the contrast of a very solid other half of the canvas. So I'm just softening that line that's in the middle and then I'll take you in for a close up. Blues are always a pleasure to work with. It's one of my go-to colours. But this just proves, I think, that by using just two colours, so white and Prussian blue, you can create a really interesting piece. So here's the dry version. I just love this. I just love how simplistic the approach was in terms of just using two colors on a canvas. And by creating one half using a solid color mixed with the white titanium and Prussian blue, and then just using the Prussian blue and the white titanium on the other half and blowing it all in together to create those very different tones that you can see here of that blue. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and the results that we've been able to create and I hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye!